This is Mongolian Mindset, and we're back again to do a deep analysis of Muhammad Ali's personality type. Um, we see that our sworn enemy personality database has Muhammad Ali as an ESFP. Um, total votes is 538, and uh, the functions are S-E-F-I-T-E-N-I. -E okay, um, so we're going to break down and see if personality database is correct or not. Um, we know personality database should not be trusted for any typing at all. Um, and what we recommend is you guys pick up Linda Barron's uh, material. Um, that's what we use to type uh, famous people. We use her metrics. Um, if you want to find your personality with 100% accuracy, highly uh, suggest you guys pick that up. Um, if you like the content, please uh, comment or subscribe. If you disagree, uh, let us know why you have in the uh, comments. Tell us why you don't believe the person is the type that we gave them. And uh, if you want, you can comment a celebrity you would like to be to be typed in the future. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and start this. He presents a conversation with Muhammad Ali with Bud Collins, columnist with the Boston Globe. Quite an athlete across from me. He used to be named Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr. and his business was price fighting. As a fighter he became, in my opinion, and certainly in his own, the greatest. At the age of 25 now, he calls himself Muhammad Ali and he's unemployed as a fighter. His title is gone, ripped away by various boxing commissions in the name of patriotism. He's been sentenced to five years in prison for refusing induction to the United States Army. Eight years ago, he stood on a podium in Rome, an American flag blowing in the breeze, the Star Spangled Banner being played. He was given a gold medal as an Olympic champion. People thought, here's a kid with a bright future, and he was known as the so-called credit to his race. He had talent in the ring, and he had maybe more talent outside of it. He loved ballyhoo. He loved putting on the nation with a great put on that he was the greatest. He maybe was the greatest poet since Robert Frost. At least he had more of his poetry published, saying, Archie Moore must go in four, things like that. But then the day after he became champion, he turned off a lot of the country by revealing that he was a convert to a religious sect known popularly as the Black Muslims and formerly as the Nation of Islam. And that antagonized a lot of the American people. So now his principal role is as a Muslim minister. He's had a very career, an exciting, bizarre, celebrated career, and now perhaps a discouraging career. Or is it discouraging right now with this five-year sentence? No, sir, I would say what I'm doing now is more encouraging and I get more out of it than boxing. Boxing was only for self gain. Okay, so he's talking about what boxing is and, and uh, he's talking about the interests of it um, and what he get out of a situation. So we're gonna hit a going going to go ahead and put down a point for interest on that. Um, we'll play it back back for you guys. Talk about what he gets out of a situation there. I say what I'm doing now is more encouraging, and I get more out of it mm -hmm. than boxing. Boxing was only for self gain. And, and uh, you guys have to realize is that people have two different types of uh, thought process. Um, it's interest and they're systematic. Okay. Um, Interest people always kind of know exactly what they're getting out of a situation. Um, systematic people try to uh, put a structure or some kind of metric to kind of control something or control aspects of life. So right there we see him say an interest statement. Well, one of my brothers or somebody else's brother for money, possibly hurting them for life. All right, so um, he's talking about the long-term consequences of boxing. Um, so I'm going to put S-I-N-E on that. Is any consequences, possible consequences? I intend to do it. I'm lucky I never really did, but uh, I would say I'm having getting more pleasure out of lecturing at the various Muslim mosques, converting so-called Negroes. You're a minister of the Muslim faith. Yes, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. We okay, so us. what I'm noticing so far is that uh, Muhammad Ali uh, speech tends to be somewhat informative, um, and the reason why I say that is because it's uh, passive, um, it's vague, um, it's beating around the bushes up in the air, it's not direct, specific, concise, and, and, and straight through. Um, it's leaving like a lot up. It's almost like giving you information. So I'm going to go ahead and put informative, but we're going to put an asterisk aside of it because we're not going to commit to it yet. So his teaching 
speeches to all America, to our people. And I enjoy this much better than boxing. Uh, or if I didn't, I would still be boxing. I chose okay, this I enjoy this a lot more than boxing. If I didn't, I still be boxing. So we're going to just put down a what if statement. Just, you're just going to put it down um, for abstract. So we're going to put one down for abstract there. What if statements are abstract, uh, intangibles, um, ideas, philosophies? Uh, those tend to be abstract. Overboxing. What about jail? Now, you're appealing, is that correct? Oh, yes. Uh, jail, that could come up. And if I should lose the appeal, then I'll uh, have to go to jail. And I'll be out of there in a few years. Have you thought about jail, what it might mean? Have you talked about people who've been in jail five years? Well, well, uh, we are taught by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad that black people actually have been in jail for 400 years. We've been here in okay, America. So, so he's talking but, about black people being in jail for 400 years. So he's talking about the past and then he's coming to the future. I mean, not the future, but the present. So I'm going to put down a point for S-I-N-E again. But, uh, uh, I don't worry about jail. If uh, I believe in our law, I believe in Elijah Muhammad as the messenger of God. And, and uh, many uh, great men have to go. So he's talking about what he believes. So I'm going to go ahead and put on a point for TEFI. Muhammad's the messenger. Um, if I believe in this, then I shouldn't be worried. A lot of FI people are very strong into what they believe. They're almost willing to die about what they believe. Um, you see a lot of them at the little rallies. You know, like the rallies for like their morals or whatnot. Um, yeah. Uh, I believe in Allah. I believe in Elijah Muhammad as the messenger of God. And, and uh, many uh, great men have to go to jail. And um, so uh, I don't pay no attention to it. If the time comes, I'll just have to go. Boys in Vietnam are dying for what they believe. And right, so there's a TE get... comparison right now. Um, a TE comparison to his life. Um, the people that's in Vietnam. So I'm going to put down another point for TEF right there. Go to jail, and um, so uh, I don't pay no attention to it. If the time comes, I'll just have to go. Boys in Vietnam are dying for what they believe, and I can't He's talking get about on dying. them. He's talking about dying for what people believe again. Like I said, TFI tends to be like that. For dying for what they believe, so I'll just have to, and they're dying to free uh, foreign people. Like if you if you see an INFP or ISFP, good luck trying to get them go against uh, what they believe. They're ready to die by that. People 10,000 miles away, so I'll just have to suffer so that the so-called Negroes uh, I'll just have to suffer so the so-called um, I'm not going to say that, but that's going to be an SI statement Be free, so they could have idol and the image they can look up to that didn't sell them out that didn't Do you think you can do more for your people by going to jail? Oh, yes, sir yes, There's sir. a report that your manager, Herbert Muhammad, advised you to enter the army Is that true? No, 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 sir No, sir, he couldn't do nothing like that no. Everything I do is of my own. He couldn't advise me to go to the army. When did that report come out? That report was in a New York paper about two weeks ago. No, I didn't. This is so just I'm going to put down a point there. right there. When did that report come out? I'm going to put that down as initiating. So initiating goes down as one point for extroversion. Responding people tend to stay on topic. They don't really like um, initiate conversation or change the conversation. Uh, so yeah, we're going to put down a point for initiating. Can't believe that I'm this strong. They thought they would weaken me. And they can't fear. believe that I was I was this strong. And, all right, so I'm gonna put down another point for S I N E. It's an S I statement. And then by threatening me to go to jail and taking my earning power, and uh, they won't let me work in America. The government won't let me leave America where I can work. And I'm getting stronger. And this shakes up a lot of people to see that I'm this strong. It also makes other so-called Negroes strong who are facing the same problems. And in this way, I think I can do for more for my people. They've never had a big black man. They just okay. Stood so that was progression there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put a point down for progression. Uh, let's go back. I'll let you guys catch up on that. That was a long one, but that's a progression statement there. Wow. That report was in a New York paper about two weeks ago. No, I didn't. Step, this step, is just step, rumors. Step. They uh, can't believe that I'm this strong. They thought they would weaken me and put fear in me by threatening me to go to jail and taking my earning power. And uh, they won't let me work in America. The government won't let me leave America where I can work. 
and I'm getting stronger, and this shakes up a lot of people to see that I'm this strong. It also makes other so-called Negroes strong who are facing the same problems, and in this way, I think I can do for more for my people. They've never had a big black man that just stood up and identified with the struggle of his people a thousand percent. Once they can get them a white girl, a blonde, a brunette, or a hundred thousand dollar home, or a show on Broadway, usually every Negro watching this show now will tell you that you can't talk to them. They're too big to be with them. He's talking about the interest there again. So we'll put another point, interest interest of people. He said like when black people get up, they get ahead, um, they get a white girl, they get a house, they get all this, what they do. Yeah, but he's not like that. Own people, they go marry other than their own kind. Yeah. And I'm so happy and proud to become great in boxing, to become the greatest one that I, ever lived. I'm like so a, happy to be the greatest, um, the greatest to ever live, boxing. Um, that's TEFI there, talking about be, being great and stuff like that, that's TEFI. You're still the greatest. Yes, sir. The greatest boxer to ever live. I'm the first one. That I'm the greatest boxer to ever live. I'm putting another point for TFI. We're almost ready to take TFI off the board. You had to take a title from in the history of all. They had to the take a TE white. title away from me. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take TE off the board. So he is a TEFI user. So personality database actually got that right that he's a TEFI user. Um, what I'm noticing in the conversation right now, and we put an asterisk aside of informative is that he is, in, in fact, informative. He's not choosing his role in the conversation. What he's doing is he's being very passive. He's being, um, he's leaving his words to be very like vague, up in the air. Um, it's not specific, concise, and to the point. And if you also see that he's also giving extra information. So we're gonna go ahead and take informative and TEFI off the board. Um, so um, with informative, we eliminated um, eight types. So all the direct types are eliminated if he's informative. That means he cannot be an INFJ, ENF, ENFJ, INTJ, ENTJ. Can't be ISTP, ISTP, ESTJ, and ISTJ, okay? So he has to be one of the informant types. And so far we have um, with that, um, so he has to be one of the informant types. And that leaves us down to white and blue American type. Let's see, that leaves us down to like we said, e, ESFP is still on the board. Personality database has an ESFP. Uh, ESFJ is still on the board. Um, ENTP, um, ENFP, um, INFP, INTP. Um, ISFJ and ISFP okay and we already put down that he's TFI so that eliminates ENTPs because they're TI users um, ESFJs are also TI users um, ISFJs are TI users and INTP are TI users so right now we're eliminated down to ESFP ENFP ISFP and INFP. We're down to literally four types already. I'm the first one that they tried to make the world believe that wasn't the champion. And, I'm the first um, one uh, to make them believe that I wasn't the champion. That's TEFI again. But we already know he's TEFI. Never, uh, that never has been beaten. What ever. about this title now, Ali? Can you, if you're in jail five years, can you come back and be the champion? Well, I don't know. I'm not really worried about boxing. The more I'm in sp the spiritual works that Elijah Muhammad preaches, preaching the word of Allah, God, I forget about sports. It's not in my blood. I don't eat rice steaks no more. They make you vicious. I just eat lamb now and fish or uh, holy foods. And uh, this yeah, keeps me that is. being vicious feeling. I really don't miss it. I have nothing else to gain. I beat the best German they had to offer. I, I beat the best German that's interest. Um, well, he has nothing else to gain from it. That, that's interest. But ESFP, ISFP, ENFP, INFP are both interest based. Um, and the way that you can distinguish between ESFP and uh, ENF, I mean the NFPs versus the SFPs is SFPs are pragmatic. Um, that means that they uh, believe in doing pretty much what they want to do. Um, um, and ENF, the NFPs are affiliative which means they believe in interdependence. So that means they will uh, pretty much 
um, approach things more likely to be conscious of others and their relationships and uh, adjust their behavior to accommodate others. So it's very more, more cooperative, essentially, um, is what affiliative is. Um, and so that's one uh, metric that we can use. Um, ESFPs and ISFPs are concrete thinkers. Um, NFPs are abstract thinkers. And that's pretty much what we got right there. So we need to figure out, is, is he concrete or abstract? Or is he pragmatic or is he affiliative? Does he want to belong to a group? Does he care about inclusion and things? And it seems like he does care about inclusion because he's always talking about uh, the uh, Islamic faith. So uh, that seems to be something he's including himself into and he's not being inter uh, independent. Canada had to offer, England, the best of America had to offer, two-time United States Golden Glove champion, AAU champion twice, Olympic gold medal winner, defended the title nine okay, times, so he's talking predicted about, the round. He's talking about all his TEFI achievements right now. That was nuts, okay? Um, so we put put down points for that, but we already know he's a TEFI user. On my opponents, uh, wrote poems in poetic fashion, how they would fall, and um, there's, n I cannot go no farther in sports. And first, another thing I like to say, I'm the only black man that black people can now say has a champion. Uh, I'm the only black man, T-F-I, 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 God damn, you went on the rant. Uh, like, uh, I would say, Marciana that's undefeated and retired off strip. So Joe Lewis came back, he uh, let the people down, he got beaten. Sugar Ray was a black pride and they got him beat up, but I'm the first one that so they never So you think you might just stay undefeated? Yes, sir. Is there a conflict now? You say, and I certainly believe you and have been with you for long enough to know that you're very sincere in your beliefs, that you're a man of God, now a minister. Is there a conflict between that and being a price fighter? Well, yes, we uh, don't believe in sports. Peace. We don't believe in sports. And, uh, what, what, we the Muslims speak. you're speaking of. Right. So the Muslims don't believe in sports. So he's seeming very affiliative to me, you know? He, he He's talking about this group and, and being included to the group, and the group don't do the boxing. And all that, you know. We don't consider boxing that violent. It's just a sport. It's nothing. We're not, our intention is not to kill. All we use is our fists and they're padded. We have referees, doctors, and judges at ringside. And the intention is to beat the man out upon him. And I've been criticized for not hurting me and been criticized for carrying him because I don't like to hurt nobody. I showed all this in my fights. But if I did fight again, the only reason would be was if to I, get out of If I did fight again, so I'm going to put down a point for another what if that's usually in the realm of abstraction. We'll go back. If I did fight again, inside the intention is to beat the man out upon him, and I've been criticized for not hurting me and been criticized for carrying him because I don't like to hurt nobody. I showed all this in my fights, but if I did fight again, the only reason would be was to get out of debt. This is the only way that I have okay, to so make the necessary that's money. interest to get out of debt. He has an interest if he does box again. So you already know what his interest is if you box me. I had to pay my draft lawyers, which I owed $280,000 that I uh, spent. $280,000 for your appeals and your fighting, trials and so on. Fighting for justice cost me that much. Fighting for things. justice cost me that much, TFI. Things back alimony to the wife, and I can't pay nobody now because I'm not allowed to work and I have the country. So, if I did fight, it'll be for those reasons. But just boxing itself, I could box tomorrow if I want to. I could just go to the gymnasium and box, but it's the money. Three years the ago, money. when we were coming on the way from Boston in Big Red, your great bus with Boudini Brown, yeah. Otis 5X was yeah. driving. We had quite a gang. You said to us, Whitey's get in the back of the bus, which we do if we did. <laughs> and uh, we had a lot of fun. And the last fight, just even though you had all this on your mind and all the pressure, you were with Boudini and you put on the Dracula masks with Saria, one of your trainers. And uh, we, we had a great time up there. And, and people who knew you, and you've had a lot of criticism in the press, but people who lived with you and knew you, uh, knew what kind of person you were and you enjoyed being champion the, the people being around you and the notoriety and the c celebrity you enjoyed that do you miss that now no fun? no as i said i can't go to i can't go no higher in boxing there's no one i could beat who could get me more praise than being a boxer See, um, um, there's no one i could beat to get praise that's tfi again praise achievement whatnot but we already know it's tfi I'm always around people. I'm still around people every day. I'm around six of them traveling with me today. 
every city I go to, the people are waiting for me. I just left uh, uh, college here. Uh, MIT? MIT University. And you were well received we have a by term, a predominantly term. white audience. Yes, you everywhere I go. Like a lot, so Fairleigh Dickinson in New York, CW Post, Iona University, Canisius University, and uh, Penn State and uh, Morgan State College. And, uh, well, you like to be with people. Oh, There's yes. No I didn't mean that boxing didn't take nothing away from me as far as fame is concerned or people. Boxing I can didn't always take nothing away head. from me. Oh, that's that be TFI again. And possibly interest, but we already know that he's interested in TFI. And I can always put on a necktie and I can talk. Most boxers, so you bring them on this show now, even the ones fighting, they couldn't talk like I'm talking now. Well, no, can talk like you can talk. Yeah, so uh, I have lot, lots to fall back Bragging on. So again, I can't talk just about ask the question in long. I just can't miss boxing. Do you remember, Ali, that night when we were on the bus? We were in Uli, Florida. We stopped to get some food. It was a Jim Crow diner. They threw Houdini out, and you didn't go in. You... I told him not to go at first. I told him not to go because uh, I can tell. I went in first, and the man said something about we don't serve Negroes. I said, yes, sir, I'm sorry. And I went because we who are Muslims don't believe in forcing our places. Uh, uh, so he's talking about the inclusion again. Um, Muslim. We are Muslims. So he's talking about being affiliative again with the Muslims. Okay, so, um, yeah, we're getting ready to go ahead and call him. Uh, we're getting ready to take SFPs off the board because not only do we have several points for S-I-N-E, um, we have points for affiliative. He keeps talking about his group and being included in his group. Um, so, uh, SFPs are S-E and I users, and he's an S-I-N-E user. So, we're getting ready to go ahead and just go ahead and take them off the board, okay? You don't have to take them off the board. And you said to Boudini that home. night, you said you're following Martin Luther King and people like that, and you're wrong, did you not? No, I don't remember saying that. I didn't mention him, I'm sure I didn't. Uh, I said, but you, I, I think said you said that, something about that wasn't the way to go about it. Well, I said, said the, the man don't want you there, and this is his restaurant, and if he hates you that much to put you out or to shoot his own white brother to keep you out, there's a possibility that vanilla milkshake he won't. When he go back to fix it, he could, you know, spit in it. So you're talking about a hypothetical situation there? Um, if the guy don't want you there, that vanilla milkshake that you might order uh, potentially could be spit in. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down as uh, an abstraction. So, uh, yeah. Looking like this guy is a NFP. And I'm sure somebody spitting a milkshake and makes it up, you couldn't see it. And I don't see why you, you have to be sick mentally to want to force yourself into places where you're not wanted. You see the man hate you. You see they uh, don't want uh, you down here. He, he's talking about cooperation again. Um, David C Kersey has the affiliative and uh, pragmatic as uh, cooperative versus utilitarian. Um, so he seems to be more cooperative. He's talking about being cooperative here. Um, so that's another point for affiliative. I'm going to go ahead and take SFPs off the board. He's not an SFP. Um, personality database, you're already wrong here. He is not an ESFP. Um, ESFPs are pragmatic, which means they are independent. Um, they don't really care about cooperation. Okay. So uh, we're down to ENFP and INFP. Um, and the way we can distinguish between ENFP and INFP, um, ENFPs care about the progression of things or the process. Um, INFPs care about the outcome. Uh, INFPs are primarily responding. So they respond, they wait, uh, they don't change the subject. Um, ENFPs are initiating. Okay, So it's looking more like that uh, Muhammad Ali is an ENFP, which is kind of crazy. Didn't see that. I want you to leave him alone. We're going somewhere else. He said, no, I'm going in. I'm an American. I'm American. I got a right to go. Oh. I said, well, come on out. I bet you I'll come out with what I want. Five minutes later, he came out with nothing. He said, treat me like that. Oh, my. Man, oh. I said, I told you, leave the people alone. They didn't want you. You just make yourself look like a fool. So we went on down the street and another white person. We could eat here. Right, yeah. we could eat here. So he went into progression right there about, about the food. So I'm going to put down a point for progression there. The Muslims now, as I said, the day after you won, you remember that very well. Sonny Liston, the big old bear, as you call him, sat in his corner, quit to you. You became champion of the world. Everybody thought this is a refreshing you know, young man. I always wondered what was his trainer talking about. I'll let you finish right after this. You know what his trainer was talking about? I always wondered what his trainer no. was talking about. So that's interesting again. But we already know that 
ENFPs and INFPs are both uh, people of interest. So, um, yeah. But just letting y'all know so y'all can, you know, be able to type people yourself. Sonny, Sonny, get up the bell room. Sonny said, my mama didn't raise no fool. I'm standing right here on my stool. You got that poetry still going. <laughs> what was she going to say? No, I was going to say that the next day, Ali, when everybody was saying the, uh, the stereotype thing, here's a refreshing young man. We Good found boy. out you were a Muslim, and people got scared. I got bad all of a sudden, yeah. People got scared. You got boy. bad all of a sudden, right, overnight. I was a good boy when I was hollering, I am the greatest. I cannot be beat. I am T -F -I, T -F -I, T -F -I. the king. I was a good boy. But when I said I'm Muslim, my religion is Islam. What's wrong with that? You have 600 million Muslims on earth, and Muslim only mean one who submits entirely to the will of God, Allah, and Islam so only means inclusion. peace, entire submission to God, and we don't believe in forcing ourselves on white people. Do you hate white the people. whites? No, sir. We don't hate Why, why is that grown up, do you suppose, that no, the Muslims are a This is false propaganda to scare Negroes, to keep them from coming, because Negroes, by nature, love their enemy. They pray for those who use them. Negroes. Probably want interest again. But nature don't hate nobody, and so they can make people think that we are a hate group that'll frighten them. But we don't hate white people. So you talking about interest? People. We know the what people are doing people. to make for example, make for it so that it's harder for uh, Muslim people to be uh, for black people to be converted to Muslim. I ain't gonna broke in this room now. I would beat you getting out if a rattlesnake broke in. Okay, so I'd we're getting if statements. We're getting if statements like crazy right now. Um, go back. He's going. He's going abstract right now. Uh oh. Just me. The enemy, they pray for those who use them. Negroes by nature don't hate nobody. And so they can make people think that we're a hate group that'll frighten them. But we don't hate white people. We know white people. We know so they're talking about the progression yet again of, of things. To white people. For example, if a tiger broke in this room. If a tiger broke in the room, hypothetical situation, abstract. Now, I would beat you getting out. If a rattlesnake. If a rattlesnake, another abstraction. Hypothetical situation, another abstraction. So. Yeah. I broke in her. I'd beat you getting off of this stage. I don't hate rattlesnakes. I don't hate tigers. I just know I can't get along with them. After learning the nature of the snake and the tiger, I don't want to try to eat with them or sleep with them because I. The nature, this is all abstract here. Um, he, he's talking about the nature of, uh, I guess, uh, white people. Um, he's, he's comparing them to uh, snakes and, or, uh, and a tiger or whatever. Uh, so that's more abstraction um and there was a lot of progression there as well so it's looking like he's an enfp i know that he might bite me so now that you I don't think that we can ever get along i, I think that was your point no, with Martin i know, Luther King I know whites and blacks cannot get along See? this is nature this is getting worse every day though latest government fact finding committee just said that things are becoming to be separate just two societies black and white that's what we've been telling you separation now the government admits that that's coming white women have got gun clubs all over the country she learned how to shoot the black targets I understand they're making guns that are shoot through brick walls so you're talking about the progression again go back on that that's he's talking about the progression Progression of this again, yeah. Um, it's looking like he's an E and F P. E Whites and blacks cannot get along. This is nature. This is getting worse every day, though. See, Latest government fact finding committee just said that things are becoming to be separate. Just two societies, black and white. That's what we've been telling you. Separation. Now the government admits that that's coming. White women have got gun clubs all See? over the country. She learned how to shoot the black targets. I understand they're making guns that are shoot through brick walls just to get Negroes. And, and, <laughs> and, and, and they, Do you believe that? I know it. I see it. Mayor Daly on Chicago, I think. Somebody ordered helicopters or something just with these rats and rotating machine guns on them. And, oh, they breeding dogs that just attack black people. And all kind of spray and miss and banana slick. And, well, what are you going to do now as one of the prominent black persons? And a person them all. who can be a leader. And that you I'm not going to be a leader. What is your role in this I can't perhaps be a, civil I war, as people call it? I can't be a leader, but I can tell them about the leader. All I can tell them is to join on to their own kind, accept their own kind. Join Cooperation, on the affiliation, um, stop being independent, join us, join the kind, affiliative, affiliative, affiliative. The true religion, which is Islam, join on to the Muslim teachings. Join on which is to the affiliation, the come be affiliated, become with this inclusion, affiliative, 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 but we already know he's affiliative. 
Elijah Muhammad, the only black man preaching the truth to black people. Clean up your own neighborhoods. Do something for yourself. Quit begging to integrate and beg you? to separate. Ali. Well, if number one, uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the religion of Islam, has given me a beautiful name, Muhammad Ali, which is connecting me with uh, some. Talk about what he got out of the situation. He got a beautiful name, another interesting statement. Just. Six Muslim countries. I have 56 government invitations. This is why Washington won't let me go to Japan to fight because they, the prosecuting attorney there came to Houston and told the judge that if we let this man leave, he might not come back because he has 600 million Muslim brothers that were gladly making him a million make him a millionaire fugitive so this is what it's done to me where well, i used to try to get a love of whites and beg to be with whites and now i can go set with kings in egypt lebanon syria pakistan indonesia saudi arabia uh, this has taught me a knowledge of myself uh taught me to love and respect my own people taught me to marry and my own women all great negroes yeah, yeah, you're yeah, my not. own women so my inclusion again inclusion 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 all that's like inclusion feel it feel it uncomfortable he's not talking about being independent he's talking about being independent um he's talking about being included in groups um, his own group being black uh, muslim whatnot whites i don't know oh i'm are. no i'm uncomfortable uh are you with uncomfortable anybody. with me right now no i'm comfortable i'm real comfortable with you of course i know how far to go with you i'm not gonna go home with you now and flirt with your daughter i'm not gonna try to push you out of your suburb i integrate you see that he's talking about progression again go back and he's talking about the interest. I know what, what not to go with you. I know what not to go. He's talking about interest. Taught me to love and respect my own people. Taught me to marry and my own women. All great Negroes. But you're from. obviously not uncomfortable with whites. I don't oh, think I'm, you are. Oh, no, I'm uncomfortable. Uh, are you with uncomfortable anybody? with me right now? No, I'm comfortable. I'm real comfortable with you. Of course, I know how far to go with you. I'm not going to go home See? with you now and flirt with your daughter. I'm not going to try to push you out of your suburb. I integrate so far. See, we don't. That's why I like Governor Wallace. He tells the truth. About you like, like George it. Wallace? Yes, sir. Well, that truth he tells. We like. He tells the truth. You believe that? I see him telling the truth. You don't believe he's been a tough influence in this country and a bad influence? Well, I don't agree with everything nobody say, but I like what he say when he says that Negroes shouldn't force to force itself into white neighborhoods and white people shouldn't have to uh, move out of the neighborhoods just because one Negro comes. If they don't want to sell the house to him, he shouldn't. And that makes sense. If a person uh, don't want you, why are you going to push yourself on him? And Wallace is admitting that this ain't right and let the people do what they want to do. They need local government where they can decide what they want to do in their own community. And just don't make some northern so, so, so-called... So. Yeah, uh, interdependent approaches are more likely to be conscious of others and relationships and to adjust their behavior to accommodate others. That's what he's talking about here. Come in and bust the neighborhood up and they all have to pack up and go somewhere else and always be well, What would you say for your people? They're living in deplorable conditions in Chicago now. Mm -hmm. They're living in terrible conditions in oh, Chicago. Oh, this is all over the world living in terrible conditions. This is why Elijah Muhammad teaches us that they need some land of their own where they can produce and build their own homes, schools, factories, and hospitals since they're suffering and been turned away from many of whites and get some land since we help build America to be fit to the richest states on the planet, fought in all American wars to help maintain and uphold a government. Why not? Should we have some of the land where we can build and construct Negroes are doctors, Negroes are lawyers, physicians, mechanics, plumbers, electricians. Why not? Can we uh, go somewhere now and build a future for our children such as other people? Why should we just Talk remain about the future uh, for the beggars? That's abstract. Talking about future, building a, uh, a future for our people. So that'd be an abstract point. But we already know he's abstract. And we're, we're An done. Employee. Essentially, we're done here. Uh, we have Muhammad down as an ENFP. Um, and that's because he has, he's informative, um, he's S-I-N-E, um, he's T-F-I, where he's talking about his achievement, being the greatest, uh, what he believes in, his beliefs, um, he uses, he has, um, um, people, interests, um, he always talks about what he gets out of a situation, uh, he prioritized the journey uh, over the outcome, which is progression, and he talks about that by going from step to step, um, in a sequence of events of how things unfold. Um, he's initiating in the argument, I mean, in this interview. Um, he changes the subject a couple times and he initiates. Um, and introverts don't do that. So he's in at people. We're going to watch a little bit more just for fun. Why not? Can we go and a job? But do you it's think this could happen? In other words, you want some land. Donald, in the United States. Donald Donald Elijah people. Muhammad teaches us that God taught him, not me, that this land should be here or elsewhere. Just like all people. No people can be free and independent without land. 
No people can be free if they can't feed themselves. He's no people can be free if they don't clothe themselves. He's talking about the if. He's talking about the what if. Those are all abstraction points there. Um, so uh, we'll go back and let you guys catch up on that so that you guys can type, you know, people you know in life right. If they can't feed themselves. If. No people can be free if they don't clothe if. themselves. Negroes are 22 million people, Elijah Muhammad teaches us. We don't make shoestrings. 22 million people and don't have a toothpick factory. 22 million people, if you white people close the grocery stores tomorrow, we would starve to death. But you have your own stores. Oh, he's Elijah Muhammad's buying hundreds of thousands of acres of farmland throughout the country, canning up and food and taking it to supermarkets and his restaurants that he's building all over the country. He's Talk got his own colleges, again. universities. He's on radio worldwide See, now, national in America. Well, he's on TV in Muhammad. Washington. He spreads two million newspapers a week called Muhammad Speaks. Yes, sure. And he's got mosques and temples See? all over the country. And he not is depression. the black man for black people to follow. He's not just asking for a job. He's not just asking for a house in a white neighborhood. This is nothing. See, Negroes actually fight for equality with the white man's dog. You may say, why? Well, when they say we won't open housing, they still Still not getting nothing the dog ain't got. The dog sleeps in the house with white people, in the bed, many of them. And Tee Negroes going to ride on the best transportation up front with the white people. The dogs do bed net. He ride right in the front seat. I see him when the sun shines and dogs ride right in the front seat car. And Negroes, they won't eat the white man restaurant and this and that. Still, the dogs eat at the same plate. I see this. So in reality, the Negroes not fighting for equality with the white man. He's fighting for equality with the white man's dog. To be equal with the man, he needs some airports. He needs some train stations, some television companies, some water plants. He needs some farms. So, so he's taking Not over the conversation he has a land of his own. Yes, talking with his like I said, the white man gave him justice and repaid him for building up this country and working for 310 Some years. Some people like Stokely Carmichael, Raph Brown, say that the white man will not do this, though. Mm, well, but they have to be militant. They are militant. You, I well, think, probably look, know these men, do you I not? I know them good. We would look like fools trying to be valiant against the most powerful military country on earth. We would look like bulls running down a railroad track head on into a locomotive train. You might say, look at that brave bull, but when that bull come head on with that train, all he will have left as his monument is his blood and his flesh on the track. See, we can't be powerful against the man who That's makes the you. bullets, who makes the guns. We look like fools with a pop gun hiding on the roof shooting at the army. If every Negro had a machine gun, a tank, a bazooka, a year... Abstraction. If every Negro... ...is round of ammunition and a good hideout, we wouldn't have a chance because uh, we don't control no food. After two or three days, we... Being, Talking about the consequences? Uh, you don't have no food, the future, how you would lose, no fuel. Hungry. Uh, for us to be violent against America, we would have to have superior weapons another, than America. Another what-if statement, abstraction. And we don't Damn have to factories on the earth to dig the material to manufacture the weapons. And if we would get the weapons, we would have to get them from so you. you. Don't agree with and I'm sure you are not going to give uh, Negroes weapons to shoot you with. So I'm not here to talk, so I don't agree <laughs> with Talk about what people can do in the situation. I don't agree with Martin. Look at him. He's going crazy. We're all black people like crazy. who fight for freedom, just and equality. Everybody have their approach. There's a war going on in Vietnam. One man fights from the air, one man fights from the land, one man fights from on top of the water, one man fights in the submarine under the water, one man comes from, he's a secret service man on a spy. They all fight the same common enemies, they say the uh, North uh, Vietnamese people, but they have different approaches. Negroes have different approaches for their freedom. One man believe in integrating, one day we all be white, he say, look like white people, we'll have 200 years. <laughs> one believe that education and politics will solve it. One believe shooting and looting and burning up the country will solve it. One man believe integration of solving and we believe separation somewhere to ourselves of solving so we're not here to talk about these fellows the same dog that bit them bit me and biting me but we just don't agree with their approach okay. to the freedom okay. but we all are for them if they are sincere in their okay. way and one day we so we're done here um uh, uh <laughs> he just went crazy on abstractions like crazy um so muhammad ali is an enfp um personality database has him as an esfp um, they are wrong. Um, he cannot be an ESFP. Um, ESFPs are concrete thinking, which means they never talk about the what if or intangible uh, philosophies, um, ideas, uh, whatnot. And you see throughout that interview, that's primarily what he's talking about. He even went on abstraction uh, rants. So um, he cannot be an ESFP. Personality dollar ratio wrong. He's an ENFP, um, which means he's abstract. Uh, he's he has informative language. That means he's vague, beats around the bush, uh, doesn't choose his uh, role in the conversation. Very passive when he talks. Um, he's not direct. Direct people are specific, concise, and to the point. Uh, they basically shoot from the hip. Um, so he's not that. He's an S I N E user. 
Um, ESFPs are SE uh, NI users, so that's wrong again. Um, he is a TEFI user. He talks about his achievements, being the greatest, I'm the greatest, talks about his beliefs, um, whatnot. Um, he always talks about interest, what's in it for him, um, what's in it for people, um, quite, uh, looking at other people's morals. He's very people focused and uh, he has progression. So he highlights uh, the journey of things um, and not the outcome. He's looking at the process of how to do things and not the outcome. So yeah, personality database, we know uh, that you get things wrong, but you got this one totally wrong. Um, he's not even in your top three votes. Um, you got ESFP, ESTP, ENFJ, and Muhammad Ali is the ENFP, and he's affiliated with shit. He always talks about um, being um, with the Muslim, um, black people, um, talking about the cooperation. He talked about he highlighted the story about his friends uh, not being cooperative and coming back out of there. Um, not being able to be served by the quote unquote white man. Um, but yeah, so um, Muhammad Ali is an ENFP and that's Mongolian mindset and we're done here.